one patient's story after battling coronavirus in the hospital for weeks. And as is often the case, this Marshfield man continues to feel the effects of the disease. He tells WBZ's Bill Shields he hopes to feel normal again soon. Curtis Akins was one of the first critically sick COVID patients to leave South Shore Hospital. That was three weeks ago. And at home, he was still on oxygen and very weak. I feel a heck of a lot better. Uh, it's been almost three weeks since I've been out of the hospital, and uh, I feel like I've made a lot of progress. Curtis has made a solid recovery from lungs that barely worked to walking his dogs. But he's not 100% yet. My breathing's uh, so far from what it should be. Um, the doctor told me that my new, I, I could use Memorial Day as a target to get to my new normal. They don't know what my new normal will be. We are still learning about COVID-19, but we know that in some healthy people, it quickly attacks the lungs. We know there's inflammation. The virus caught, the body's response to the virus is inflammation. And that inflammation can really kind of affect the lungs very drastically. And there's still a lot to learn about this. So this is a brand new virus. Curtis knows he was very lucky. Thinking about coronavirus and seeing the news and all the deaths, that, and, and they're still piling up, and it's such a shame. I, I just didn't want to be one of those numbers. Curtis realizes just how lucky he is, and he's decided to give back. He's donating his plasma and the antibodies that come with it to the Red Cross. I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.